How's it going, you guys? AZ Plow 21 back again with more of our local to global save in WMMA5. And here today we have W399 Chandler versus Poirier. We have a big, big fight card for you here today as Chandler takes on Poirier in the lightweight division. Also got Vicente Le uh, Luque, Kevin Lee, Davison Figa, Hado uh, taking on the former UFC champion Sumaderji in action. Chase Hooper in action, and we got the women's flyweight title on the line. The next episode, you guys, is going to be W3. <coughs> excuse me. It's going to be W3 100 McGregor versus Lawler. Surely, I'm going to gain some momentum, gain some popularity there. We are at 80% popularity, 80.6% high level international popularity, 20 percentage points away from 100% high level international. And then at that point, I don't know because right now the ufc is actually on the decline the ufc is on the decline take a look at this popularity 95.2 percent going down the reason for that we have been poaching all of their popular fighters to the point where they've been putting on some pretty lackluster main events and the way that the ai is for the ufc just like in real life they have to keep a very steady schedule they have to keep doing essentially a fight card every week if they can they they are doing a fight card every week you see week two week three and then week one week two and then take about a week off so they're doing about three fight cards every month which i can easily do and get away with you know what i mean um especially in the ufc because i know how to you know make it happen to where it's not that big of a deal and also i keep my popular fighters so that's not an issue for me um, the issue with them is we've gotten the capital, we've got the money, and we are spending it getting those fighters, and we're making a steady profit. So that's not a that's not a problem for us. The only issue is time. We, it's just time. It's only a matter of time before we take over the UFC and become the number one MMA organization in the world. It's just a matter of time. They are on borrowed time. They're not going to go bankrupt by any means, but... If they keep putting on the crappy fight cards that they've been putting on, they're going to go down. It's just what it is. And we're still going to keep going after their popular fighters, so it's not going to end. The, the, the signings that they've been making are fighters that are on like mid-level regional, high-level regional. We've been consistently signing people that are at least low-level national, mid-level national. People that are already popular. They are having to build fighters up, whereas we are taking their popular fighters cutting fighters that we don't want anymore you know what i mean we're at the point that we're actually cutting fighters before it was just we need fighters so we can put on more fight cards we're at the point now where we are actually cutting fighters so we are gonna be fine it's just a matter of time before we take them over that's gonna be a huge one though mcgregor versus lawler surely gonna gain some popularity with that one other than that we've got chamaya versus dylan danis coming up and then dan Ige versus Ilya topuria for the featherweight title you're thinking, ah, that shouldn't be that big of a deal. High-level international draw. Uh, only high-level regional is Topuria, but Dan Ige takes care of that because he's on a hot streak. He's got the title. Fight is for the title. It's going to take care of it just fine. Appreciate you guys. Whether you're watching on YouTube or whether you do follow me on Twitch, links are down in the description below so you can follow me on Twitch. Um, also, if you are watching, be sure to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. A majority of the people that do watch my channel do not subscribe, so please, just takes a couple seconds, just subscribe to the channel, so that we can get notified whenever I do upload a new video. With that said, Chandler versus Poirier, let's go ahead and get into it. Taking place in Las Vegas, of course, first main card fight is for that title, but we of course have our prelims. Let's go ahead and see what we've got cooking here. Hold on. Did I not schedule prelims for this show? Did I not schedule? That's bad, actually. That's actually really bad. Okay. Well, then, first main card fight, Jillian Robertson versus Casey O'Neill for the title. Casey O'Neill wins and wins the title. We might suffer a popularity loss. Because we're only putting on six fights. Chase Hooper versus Morgan Charrier. 
and it's Chase Hooper who gets the win. This is actually going to end up being bad. That's a big oops on my regard if this actually is true. Nasruddin Imovov versus Elias Theodoru, and it's Nasruddin Imovov who gets rid of Theodoru in round number one via TKO RIP, by the way. Um, I hope that I just accidentally skipped the prelims. Otherwise, like I said, that's terrible. Um, chance that we do actually lose out in popularity because of my mistake. Davison Figueiredo and Sue Maderji. And it is Figueiredo with the TKO in round number one. Co-main event, Vicente Luque versus Kevin Lee. And it is Vicente Luque with the unanimous decision victory after three rounds. His first fight here after we signed him up from the UFC. And main event of the evening, Michael Chandler and Dustin Poirier. I was not expecting to see it this quickly, but I really did mess up. Did I really not schedule prelims? How could I be that dumb? Either way, Michael Chandler knocks out Dustin Poirier after a fantastic fight in the fourth round. Did I really not schedule prelims? That seems like something really, really bad. 95 commercial rating, which is good enough for high-level international. Very minimal gains, if that. We do gain in popularity. So we end up winning in the end. I did not schedule prelims. That is insane. We end up making a bunch of money. That is crazy. What a terrible mistake on my end. I do apologize, you guys. That's a very momentary lapse in judgment on my end. Um, we do get 1.9 percentage points out of it. feel like it could have been a little bit more should we... Uh, had we had... Um, booked actual prelims so i do apologize um with that said though we are still on the rise um and yeah mcgregor versus lawler is our next one and our 100th uh, numbered event by the way so that is a pretty pretty cool pretty cool idea pretty cool task pretty cool fact 100 numbered shows you already know we're doing it in the state of arizona our home base mcgregor versus lawler uh, appreciate you guys as always. Uh, like I said, it's only a matter of time before we take over the UFC and become the number one MMA organization. Uh, I, like I've said in previous videos, um, after we do conclude this save and become the number one organization, we are then going to um, do a save with the UFC starting completely from scratch. And uh, any ideas that you guys might have in regards to that save, please let me know down in the comment section. But it is going to be with the UFC. But any ideas that you guys might have to kind of spruce it up a little bit, definitely let me know down in the comment section. Appreciate you guys as always. I'm AZ Plot 21, and I will see you guys at the fights.